it's that time again. I've been chasing muskie for the past several weekends and I have one fish to show for it. And I've been skunked the last four outings. And I fish once a week, so if you're doing the math, that means I haven't touched a fish in a month. And that's unacceptable. So today I'm not pulling any punches. I am bringing out all of my confidence lures and just trying to catch as many fish as possible. And based on the bait fish activity I'm seeing behind me, if I don't catch fish today, then I just suck. The primary targets are bass and pike. Let's go see what we can do. All right, there are a lot of tiny bait fish in here. So I'm starting out with a match the hatch approach. This is a six cents party minnow on a finesse tush jig. So I'm fishing it as a swim bait, even though it's intended to be a drop shot bait, but I have no doubt this is gonna work. Got one. <laughs> Look at those bait fish go crazy. Definitely need to tighten my drag here. There we go. Got to be a largemouth bass, I think. First fish of the day on the party minnow. Pretty decent size. Ooh. Let's see if I remember how to net fish from way up here. Oh, it's not a bass. It's not a bass. It's not a bass. Oh boy. It's a really nice walleye. <laughs> it's a really nice walleye. This is gonna be difficult to net. Man, that is a tank walleye. <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh my gosh. That is huge. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh no. The water's low today, so getting them in the net's a little tougher. Oh my gosh. That is a giant walleye. <laughs> oh man. What a nice surprise there, guys. What a beast. It's about uh, 24 inches. Man, what a tank. <laughs> beautiful colors. Look at his cheeks. Beautiful fish, beautiful eyes. Gorgeous fish. All right, guys, definitely not a bad way to start the day. 24 inch tank of a walleye just in here crashing on bait fish, getting nice and fat for the winter. That's the biggest walleye I've caught this year and quite possibly the prettiest as well. Just a beautiful fish. All right, she's ready to go. Oh, <laughs> on the party minnow. All right, I made a few more casts with the party minnow. I really want to find out if the pike are in here, so I'm going to the opposite end of the spectrum with a big Ed flutter chuck by Daredevil. And if the pike are here, this is definitely the answer. And my personal best pike was caught out of this marina, so I would love to beat that today. Got one. What do we got here? Not a pike. <laughs> Not a pike on the big head flutter chuck. Got ourselves a nice largey. Well, I'm catching fish. Just not the species that I'm targeting. There we go. Decent one. First largemouth of the day. As you guys can see, all the fish in here are fat. Just crushing these bait fish. Decent little largemouth. Oh, that was kind of a flop. Sorry about that, bud. It would make my whole year to catch a 40 incher right now. Got one. Oh my gosh. No. <sighs> Guys. That was a monster pike. That was a monster pike. I did not even feel the bite. He slacked my line. By the time it got tight, it was too late. That was a huge pike. Like one of the fattest I've ever seen in my whole life. 
I might not get another chance at that fish. I hope I caught that fish on camera, guys. That was a giant pike. Giant. All right, guys, after seeing that massive pike, I gotta put the spoon away because I don't know if it'll fool them again. Bring out the big guns. We got the nine inch, six cents draw. I'm probably the only person that's thrown this bait in this marina, but that could work in our favor. Oh yeah, <laughs> first cast. I, I knew that was gonna work. <laughs> it's not the giant pike that we're after. gonna be tough netting a 40 inch pike up here I'll tell you that right now little upgrade to that first bass about a three pounder or so my thought process here is that there's a million three four inch shad in here and sometimes matching the hatch will get it done but other times standing out from the hatch will get it done and there are a lot of bait fish in here when it's overwhelmed with a certain kind of forage you stand out better by doing something different. Got one. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice fish. Are there only nice fish in here? My goodness. <laughs> Another just fat, happy bass. Oh, I got my net all inside out. Come on. Oh, that's the worst net job I've ever seen. Oh, terrible net job. Wow. <laughs> it's a big largemouth. Look at that fish, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, I needed this kind of action today. This is probably, I'll call it a four pounder to be safe, but it might be four and a half pounds. It's super fat. Beautiful largemouth bass on the nine inch draw by six cents. Let's keep going. Look at that fish. <laughs> That's a stud. That net job couldn't have been worse. Felt like I was balancing that fish on a tray like I was a waiter at Buffalo Wild Wings. Saw a fish bust up over here. Got one. Oh, big. Big fish. Big fish. What is that? Maybe it was in the grass or, but I don't know. It feels like a big fish. Oh, gotta watch out for these poles. Still feels pretty heavy, you guys. Staying down too, what is that? What do we got? Oh, oh, it's a pretty decent pike. I guess he was just down in the grass. He's not a giant by any means. Oh, but still a nice one. Ooh, whoopsie daisy. All right, guys, definitely not the monster that we're after, but about a 30 incher, I'll take it. That draw glide bait has been producing, so we're gonna keep throwing it. Let's get this guy back in first. This fish felt so big in the weeds. Oh. Off he goes. <laughs> if you guys have ever wondered why the draw glide bait costs $75, you're seeing it right now. This is super duper fun. All right, no more action on the draw since we caught that last pike. So I'm gonna drop back down to a swim bait. This has been the most productive combination I'd say for me this entire year when it comes to the swim bait. 
one eighth ounce tush jig, four inch divine swim bait in a pro shad color. I've caught a lot of fish, a lot of different species in a lot of different places using this right here. Got one. <laughs> Feels like a decent fish. Large mouth. In the net. Nothing to write home about, but he is fat, just like everything else we've caught in here. All right, the bite has slowed down even more now, so I'm gonna try and give myself a bit more of an edge with some Procure Shad Super Gel right here on the swim bait. Just gonna spread it around. If you don't think that scent makes a difference, I encourage you to try it later in the year when the water is cold and you're fishing pressured areas. If your bite slows down, put some Procure on there See if it makes a difference for you. Might change your mind. Got one. Such a subtle bite. <laughs> Pretty decent fish. Decent little largemouth. Not bad at all. There we go. Bike got slow, but he liked that shad super gel. Oop. Got one. Get that hook in there. Get it. Got him. <laughs> First hook set wasn't very good. But I'm pretty sure he's pinned now. That's why it's a good idea to mix up the retrieves. I've been doing that steady retrieve. Switched over to uh, jigging it up off the bottom and got one right away. It's a pretty nice one, you guys. Pretty nice one here. Nice. I don't know, guys. I made a lot of casts before I put that super gel on and uh, wasn't getting any strikes. Put it on, got two nice ones right away. I'm gonna go ahead and reapply it to my swim bait because it might be making a difference. All right, guys, the bite hasn't just died off now. It has fallen off the face of the earth. I've been seeing virtually no fish activity, so I'm going to pack it up, head to another spot, see if I can get some more pike. Overall, I did pretty well here, but I'm definitely kicking myself for missing that giant pike. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it, but that was definitely the fattest pike I've ever seen, and it looked to be pretty long, too. I think it would have been a personal best, so definitely kicking myself there. But there can be big ones in other spots. Let's go see if we can find one. Alrighty then, we are further inland, away from the wind. If you guys have watched my videos before, you might recognize this spot, but it tends to hold some above average pike. See if we can find any. Got one. <laughs> I believe we are gonna bridge flip this guy. All right, there we go. <laughs> nice and easy. Just a little baby guy. Got one. <laughs> it's good stuff right there. The water's so clear, you can see them come up and grab it. 
even from this far away. All right, going for another bridge flip. Got it. I'm gonna walk this guy down this time. All right. See you later, little guy. Based on the size of those two fish, I don't know if we're gonna find any big pike or bass in here today, but we'll make a few more casts. Oh, <gasps> terrible cast. <laughs> little bit better one still a small guy taking me up under the bridge I'm probably not going to bridge flip this one might have been a mistake too oh. Oh. I don't even know if I can climb back up here let's get this fish taken care of and then worry about how I'm gonna get back up there <laughs> it's so steep all right that's a nicer one but a 20 inch or so not too bad. <sighs> Definitely not an easy climb there for a big guy. Something just whiffed on it. Got him that time. Little guy, super tiny one. Oh, self-release, probably for the best. All right, leader's still in good shape. Swim bait's definitely got some teeth marks in it, but that's okay. Guys, the swim bait is definitely the best multi-species fish catcher, and that is never going to change. Got another one here. <laughs> Trying to wave high to the guy in the truck and fish at the same time. Another little one. Don't think there are any big fish in here. Ooh. Off he goes. All right, that's gonna do it for today. It seems like the pike that are in this spot are just a little bit on the smaller side. So I'm gonna call it a day, but I think I'm gonna head back to that marina in about a month when the water gets colder because you can catch dozens of pike on those flutter spoons. Just didn't seem like they were in there in numbers today, but, but guys, I'm telling you, we almost had an absolute monster pike today. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.